healthy, necessary, democratic debate. But when Israel, the only country in the world whose very existence is under attack, is consistently and conspicuously singled out for condemnation, I believe we are morally obligated to take a stand. Demonization, double standards, delegitimization. The three Ds, it is a responsibility of us all to stand up to them. And I know, by the way, because I have the bruises to show for it, that whether it is at the United Nations or any other international forum, the easiest thing to do is simply to just get along and go along with this anti-Israeli rhetoric to pretend it is just about being even-handed and to excuse oneself with the label of honest broker. There are, after all, a lot more votes, a lot more, in being anti-Israeli than in taking a stand. But as long as I am Prime Minister, whether it is at the United Nations, the Francophonie, or anywhere else, Canada will take that stand, whatever the cost. And friends, I say this not just because it is the right thing to do, but because history shows us and the ideology of the anti-Israeli mob tells us all too well if we listen to it that those who threaten the existence of the Jewish people are a threat to all of us. Earlier I noted the paradox of freedom. It is freedom that makes us human. Whether it leads to heroism or depravity depends on how we use it. Alors que grandir le spectre de l'antisémitisme, notre responsabilité est de plus en plus claire. Nous sommes des citoyens de pays libres. Nous avons le droit et donc l'obligation de parler et d'agir. We are free citizens but also the elected representatives of free peoples. We have a solemn duty to defend the vulnerable, to challenge the aggressor, to, to protect and promote human rights, human dignity at home and abroad. None of us really knows whether we would choose to do good in the extreme circumstances of the righteous. But we do know that there are those today who would choose to do evil if so permitted. Thus, we must use our freedom to confront them and their anti-Semitism at every turn. Voilà, mesdames et messieurs, l'objet de notre intervention aujourd'hui, notre détermination commune à confronter cette terrible haine. Le travail que nous avons entrepris dans nos propres pays et en collaboration les uns avec les autres est un signe d'espoir. Our work together is a sign of hope, just as the existence and persistence of the Jewish homeland is a sign of hope. And it is here that history serves not to warn, but to inspire. As I said on the 60th anniversary of the founding of the State of Israel, Israel appeared as a light in a world emerging from a deep darkness. Against all odds, that light has not been extinguished. It burns bright, upheld by the universal principles of all civilized nations, freedom, democracy, and justice. By working together more closely in the family of civilization, civilized nations, we affirm and strengthen those principles, and we declare our faith in humanity's future in the power of good over evil. I want to thank you all for all you are doing to spread that faith and I want to thank you for your kind attention today. Merci beaucoup.